Hello and welcome everybody to a little bit of something special again today because um, last year I or like kind of well yeah at the, with like the transitioning of the year new years I wanted, I had like a resolution I wanted to kind of learn a bit more of a realistic drawing style it's not like really pure realism but like it's like kind of the fantasy ish like i don't know like interesting brushes like like actually seeable brushes not like complete um digital kind of thing you know uh yeah this is kind of more like really the painting and rest like just illustrating more like almost vector ish uh, drawing that's kind of like what i wanted to learn and so i went today in i downloaded some brushes and I tried around a little bit like I you can see also like a little bit ago that was me like filling the canvas with different brushes like I yeah I tried them all around and then I picked one that I kind of liked like a really pretty rough one that has like I don't know it has quite a bit of texture to it and you can see that there it looks almost kind of like clouds the different like color splotches it's kind of, it, it, I like it. I'm later actually switching to a different brush again because uh, I noticed that this one doesn't blend as much. On the nose, I kind of tried and it somewhat worked, but like the pressure sensitivity and the blending, like usually how you would do it, like what I learned so far, is you would like, you have a base color, then you like pick uh, like either a brighter or a darker color, depending if you do shadow or light. And then you just like do that on the edge and then like at the very edge between the two brushes you can by like basically pick like an in-between color and then get, go from there. Especially also if you don't like fully press and you have like press sensitivity on but not with size but with opacity. Then you can just like slightly press a little bit and have like an in-between color as well. And then you can pick that a color pick that again and then use that again to blend things out more, more and more. So yeah, that brush didn't really do it. So later I switched to like a different brush that did that a bit better. And yeah, I don't know. How I drew this was really, I zoned out. I had like loud music on. I completely like, I didn't look at my phone at all. Didn't look at any messages. And like for like, I don't know, one and a half hours, I just went crazy on the canvas. Um, I mean, for the first time, ever well not ever ever but like it's basically the first time really trying something here i usually always do like a, with a go with a really cartoony style and this i feel like i yeah for the time that i spent on it and the fact that i've never really practiced this i feel like it's actually quite good and yeah, I like it. I feel like I can definitely improve in many things. I don't quite know how I would want to, how I do, uh, yeah, fluff, fur, how I can really model that. I feel like the mouth actually in the end looks a little bit worse than it was like at, end, at some point within it. Like looking back, I feel like somewhere right in the middle of this beep, I have like a better mouth than I had in the end. I don't know. Well, the end, it has something as well. It's a, it's feels like a little bit of a different expression but well yeah generally i kind of just want a neutral expression him staring into the distance like philosophically is that a word i don't know <laughs> just chilling probably listening to music but i didn't want to draw in headphones because that's always weird on furries unless you do these like kind of in-ear ones i guess those work but you know I just wanted something basic, so I went with this. Um, also wanted to immediately try and go with a bit of a painted background, and uh, I didn't want to full, fully like render a background or something, just wanted to like have some interesting colors happening, basically. I did a bit of a drop shadow that I softened out a little bit, and yeah. Like I said, overall, I feel like for not doing this very much at all, I think it's quite a cool result. I quite like it. it has something aesthetic to it. And yeah, I'll try and run around with this probably more. And I do this a few times over the year that I just pick some brushes. I gotta find like some really good ones as well. I feel like maybe these are not optimal that I used. But yeah, I mean, for the background, I really like this. But for the character itself, I might have to pick something a bit different. But yay. Thank you guys for watching and bye bye. Hey, since you made it till the end of the video, I would assume that you liked the video. If that's the case, bap that like and subscribe button and see you in the next one.